Hey guys, welcome to Prince of Peace Tarot. I'm Justin and today I'll be doing a reading for those of you with Sagittarius placements in your chart. So if you have Sagittarius anywhere within your chart, this reading can resonate with you. And if it does, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Okay guys, so before I jump into your spread, let's say a prayer. Infinite Creator, Olodumare, to my higher self, my Ori, Eshu, Obatala, to the Egun Marine Laie, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, to my benevolent ancestors, known and unknown, Florine Williams, Norman Williams, Exius Willie, thank you for allowing me to source the most accurate reading for those with Sagittarius placements in their chart. All right, guys, let's get into this reading, okay? So I do feel like there are two groups here. Um, one who is not dealing with a particular person and sort of making progress and moving forward. And another group who is either dealing with someone from the past or someone uh, new who is from the past. This energy is still here. This is like literally picking, piggybacking off of the reading I posted last time for you guys. Your very first card out is death. So just like in the last reading, the first card out was the tower. First card out is death. All right. So, and then I'm seeing these prayer hands. I never noticed that about this card, that it included prayer hands here. But when it's sitting next to the um, four of swords in the reverse, it is a time to like pray and meditate. In this, okay, here, let me show you. In the four of swords, a priest is blessing someone who's in prayer, okay? This is sort of the state you need to be in, okay? You are able to receive a blessing through uh, prayer, meditation, and connecting to the Holy Spirit and your higher self. I think all in all for all of you right now, whether you're in a relationship or not, you are in a space of healing. Even if you are moving successfully, because I see the world here, I see the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, okay? So because for some of you who aren't dealing with this... Um, uh, obstacle of a person. You are moving forward, but I think you are uh, healing. But in your healing, it's not just like, oh, I'm hurt and I got to heal. It's like, as I'm healing, I'm actually making a deeper connection with spirit. This healing that is occurring for you is allowing your internal voice, your clear audience to be tuned up louder. Okay. I, remember, you guys are still in the space of developing psychic ability. Four of Swords could even be asking you, um, take a break from sex. Maybe you want to um, take a little celibate route for a minute. Um, definitely. And some of you are probably already there. You're like, you know, I'm, I'm by default celibate because I don't want to deal with certain people. Right. Cool. But this that energy is actually tuning you up. So those of you who are in Four of Swords in reverse mode, OK, really having a hard time meditating or uh finding space to get quiet, they're asking you not to do that. The other thing is on a mundane level, the death next to four swords could indicate a funeral, especially when I have death. Here, here are your cards in the first row. You have death, four of swords in reverse, chariot in the upright, two of wands in the upright, okay? See, death and chariot could be talking about going into battle or a warrior dying. Okay, and then we have this little, looks like a coffin they're laying on, but they're resting, right? So let's just break that down. For some of you, um, you could be dealing with the funeral. For others of you, I feel like it's your fighting spirit. It's your ability to, to, to fight for your purpose, okay? Um, you being a warrior for your purpose, a warrior for God, a warrior for uh, a higher vibration, whatever the case may be, however you see yourself. But then we're talking about going into battle and dying. And why would you go in and die? Why? How could you lose your purpose? Okay. I think it's from getting up from your rest too soon. Coming out of meditation too soon. Um, disconnecting from your, from your guides and ancestors too soon. Um, because you feel some sort of love or desire for someone. Um, and in this instance, in the bottom row, I just, I'm just not seeing, uh, like a healthy relationship, like a truly healthy relationship. So I don't know. The other thing is with the two of wands in the reverse, 
This could be talking about you not being in control. See, here, look, I'm gonna show you something. The chariot sits over the lovers in the second in the second row. Lovers is in the second row. This means controlling sexual desires. When you control sexual desires underneath that in the third row, nine of pentacles, you gain all this luxury and wealth. Okay, and a higher sense of spirituality and spiritual sense. Okay, you're awakening, right? Because this is choosing the right path. This, you got three things here. And in this instance, for what I'm feeling is, for whether you're the feminine or the masculine, am I looking at this person only and missing out on the angel that's sitting above? For this is, instance, I'm not necessarily feeling I'm blessing this union. I'm feeling maybe, am I looking just only at this and not at the angel? I keep feeling like this is about your path. It's about your path, okay? Um, because there is no way that like the chariot over the lovers is saying a successful relationship by ending it with a nine with someone by themselves, okay? So somebody needs a break from a relationship. Somebody, this two of wands energy could be saying there's a pause. You need to pause and think about this relationship before you go any further. Some of you is like, oh, it's really not a relationship. It's a situationship, but uh, it's strong. It's, there's a strong energy here. Also, what I was going to say is this controlling aspect. In your third row, we have the devil and the knight of cups, okay? This is someone who's addicted to love. Uh, the cards being in the reverse could be asking you to release that. I'm feeling like this could be you or it could be the person you're dealing with. This person could also be a sex addict. Maybe. I don't know. But I'm telling you that somebody is addicted. I don't like seeing the two of wands in reverse with the devil here because... Uh, some of you, I think, feel something strong for a particular person. And um, I don't think you know how controlling they really are. And then I'm seeing like, you know, death, four swords, chariot. And I'm speaking on a spiritual level about the warrior dying. But I would hate for some of you to, to get into a relationship with someone who is abusive and controlling, who is showing you um, a very light airy, lovey-dovey side, only to later show you a very controlling, verbally or physically abusive side, okay? Um, definitely seeing that, okay? because even the Three of Swords is here for heartbreak, all right? And I'm trying to tell you, I don't want your you guys' heart to be hurt because you're healing. Even the Four of Swords and the Three of Swords could be talking about healing from a surgery or healing from open heart surgery, but I think you're healing, some of you are healing from a broken heart, if you, if this person gets up too fast, look what they run into. The three of swords. You're just going to run into someone who's going to break your heart. Take the sword to your side and cut that away. That's what that sword is sitting there for. So you, so you can rest and cut those swords away that hurt you. Okay. Um, be careful about starting up something too quickly. Way too fast. I'm I'm seeing um, this is a mess. <laughs> it really is a mess. And for a lot of you, this the world over the um, ace of uh, pentacles could be saying it can't move beyond the physical. Literally, like uh, there's a death and and um and the lovers could talk about a kundalini experience. But I feel like whoever you're talking to. They are having a spiritual experience just by dealing with you. I don't think that you're experiencing a heightened sense of spirituality with this person. They could be feeling that with you, but that's not their operating mode. Spirituality isn't their operating system. So, yeah, this this relationship only will sort of tie you up. We have these these cards are, are uh, related to each other in this way. OK. You see this? The two, the two, you think it's this, it's really this. All right, be careful, careful, careful. So, um, give me a second. Definitely, I want you to, because, right, that's what I was gonna say about these situationships and different things like that. Some of you guys, I think, because we do have the, the option of celibacy here, right? Some of you are like, you know, I wanna try that. I, you, you either are finding it very difficult but then at the same time, you could be dealing with multiple people and finding one in particular that is standing out, right? And you're saying to yourself, I don't know what this connection is. We have great sex. I like talking to this person. Maybe don't go on a very spiritual high level, 
with them, but I'm comfortable. So this energy is going to sort of trap you. You, I think you, some of you think that I have enough distance between me and this person where I think the distance is going to close. And then that's where this relationship is going to control you. The other thing um, to notice is when you're with this person, do you feel like you're leaving something behind? That's one way I know whether or not I should continue talking to somebody is do I feel like I'm leaving something behind when I feel like I'm about to embark on something with someone new? Uh, when I get off the phone with them and and I'm thinking, okay, yeah, we're, we could start a relationship. But then, you know, ugh, all that, the good morning texts and, uh, you know, hey, what you doing? And all that kind of stuff. Where you, And then you are actually wondering, what is this person doing? Where are they at? You know, I don't want to do that. You know, I, you, if you feel like I'm about to be with a person where I got to clock them or they feel like they got to clock me, then maybe that's what it's like. I don't have the energy for that right now. Like, I just can't. I can't. Four swords. I can't. I've been through that part already. I've done that with somebody else. I'm I'm over that. Good morning, queen. Good morning, king. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Sorry. Mm -mm. No. So if you feel like that, or if you feel like the more I focus on this or start having to think about, okay, where are we going to go? and What are we going to do? But I have a particular thing that I'm doing, whether it be a new job or a new endeavor or an entrepreneurial endeavor you're doing. And I feel like the more I think about them, the less I'm thinking about that. You also may want to pause again because lovers and the two of wands is a financial decision. Making a financial decision. So if it's like, do I choose love or do I choose what I'm doing. And right now in this situation, I would say I would, you should choose your work. You should choose your work because this death in the, in the spread. Okay. This devil in the spread, the knight of cups in the spread and the three of swords all tell me this is a, a, a relationship destined to fail. That's it. Period. Period. I can see, look, look at this. I can see all of the love that some of you guys are really feeling. It's the world, the 10 of cups and the lovers. But then after the lovers, I hit what? Three of Swords, because I think you guys are imagining it um, better than what it really is, or somebody is hyping themselves up or hyping the way they feel about you more than what it really could actually be. It's it's like a nice idea, but it's not real. It's not going to go past the physical, and you are past the physical because death says you're going through a transformation or you've already transformed. Just because things aren't moving fast doesn't mean you haven't changed. You've changed. I swear, if, if, if you feel like that's one of the key things for me, if I feel like I'm getting further away from tarot or whatever it is that I'm doing that's important to me, the minute I get off the phone or I'm thinking about how I relate to this person, I immediately cut it off. It's done. Done, done. All right? The other thing is, guys, as, you've, as you're growing... This I'm surprised I don't see the strength card out here because um, you're at a point where you are overcoming these feelings or learning to overcome. OK, and that's why you probably need to meditate in order to overcome these strong desires, these really, really strong desires. I always say, like for me, just because, you know, you you want to be um, open to people, you know, you want to still talk to people and see where, you know, maybe I can come across somebody. But. You know, if you notice every time I'm out there trying to come across the right person, I'm coming across the wrong person, leave it alone. But when I do talk to people, I always say, what, what lights up? Is it my head lighting up? My crown chakra lighting up when I'm talking? Or is it my sacral and root just going nuts? Like, oh my God, you know, like I want them. Okay, so what is lighting up when you speak to a particular person? If all your energy is lit up down here, then maybe you would say like, hey, you know, I don't think so. And I, I swear, I, I'll be talking to, to guys who, you know, they're great, you know, um, with good jobs and, you know, good people, you know, from the outside. But once we get together, something else happens. <laughs> All of that just falls away. It's like, well, I, you're great for somebody else, not for me, right? Because we're only going to end up getting more physical than what I need. And I need spiritual as well. You can't go there, Right. Uh, and that's something you guys can't sacrifice. I feel like you can't sacrifice your spirituality or the work you're doing right now. 
Mm -hmm. Being distracted. Because it's going to hurt you. It will hurt. It will hurt. The devil's out here. Somebody ain't right. Um, so, yeah, figure out where you're being lit up. And I'm not saying, um, oh, man, like, it helps to have somebody light you up here. You know, I don't think that this is, like, boring. You, I've been lit up by handsome dudes, you know, where things are here. But you do want it to be balanced, okay? You want it to, to go somewhere. And, and maybe the person who lit you up here, you know, if it didn't move along, it just wasn't time for you guys to either connect, you know, or something like that. But for a source tells me there's no rush anyway. But uh, just be mindful of how your body feels, how you truly feel. You know, if you know, like, really, this person only just makes me horny and, you know, and we have a good conversation, then just be honest with that and be like, that's not enough to have a relationship with. Yeah, we can talk like we can make something happen. Yeah, you may have a good job and all this, that and the third. But really, this is going to end up being a trap for me, a trap. And I'm going to lose sight of who I am and where I'm going and what I'm doing. Right now is a time for rest from relationships. It's a time to connect deeper to your spirit and your guides and your soul more towards purpose. Uh, definitely. There are the Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles already tells me you're about to be blessed with something. OK, you're about to obtain a significant amount of comfort. OK, in your life. But what you need to release is this either strong sexual desire or uh, always needing to be in a relationship. OK, if you find yourself like, man, I can't I got to always be booed up with somebody, then we got a problem. We got a problem. This is something you got to release. You have to release that. That's codependency. OK, we're not codependents. We want interdependence. OK, where what I do and what another person does, actually, we help each other. We don't we're not. Um, there's no lack. We only build and make it stronger, our relationship stronger. I'm not lacking and nor is my partner. We're not lacking in any kind of way. If we were to separate, we would be good on our own. OK, um, yeah, that's what I have for you. That's what I have for you. It's a quick one because it's it's pretty obvious. But some of you guys are building a strong a little illusion about somebody. And some some of these partners look, don't look a little dangerous. OK. All right. So if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, the link to book is in the description box below. If you would like a 30 minute recorded reading, go ahead and email me your name and date of birth. And then after you pay using Cash App, Venmo or PayPal, I will record your reading and email you a link back. Just give me up to 24 hours to give you that uh, reading back. OK, uh, the current Patreon playlist is in the description box below. Our next group reading will be December 1st at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. And the second one for the month will be December 15th at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. So if you guys are interested in participating in the group reading, uh, please join Patreon. OK, because that is where the Zoom link will be. All right. That's what I have for you guys. I'll see you later.